Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Emmanuel, I'm a Boeing 737 pilot and a member of PMDG's tech team. In today's video I'll guide you a little bit through finding real-life flights for you to execute in Microsoft Flight Simulator using FlightRadar24. Note that I am using the gold subscription of FlightRadar24, however it is not necessary to have any subscription for this. Basically, all the data we need is going to be available for the past seven days without a subscription. And with a subscription, you basically just get a little bit um, more backdated data. All right, so basically, of course, we can simply go to the map and pick a flight that we want to carry out. Now, that's nice as it is, but um, there's more to it. So. The interesting tab for us here is the Data and History tab. Over here we find airports, airlines and aircraft. Let's start from the top. Airports. Let's say you just bought that super cool new add-on scenery. Let's take for example Flight Tampas Corfu. Then you can simply go on um, Corfu over here. You can now either check arrivals or departures to see what's going on at the moment. However, what I would recommend you, because it gives you a little bit better data, is to take the routes tab up here. And now we can see on the map every single destination that is served within the next seven days from Corfu Airport. So now, say for example, you want to fly from Corfu to Tel Aviv. Just click on it. Now it's giving you a complete list of flights that are going to operate on this particular route. Now, if we decided, for example, we want to do Israel Flight 532, just click on it, click play on the utmost iteration of the flight. And now, the important information you're getting here is the IATA flight number and the call sign, which in this case is the same. So in Yesiara Romeo, 532 is going to be your call sign for this particular flight. Also down here you find the scheduled flight time, which you can then use in SimBrief in order to generate a realistic flight plan. So in this case from 1450 UTC until 1715, that's like 2 hours and 25 minutes of flight time that we are talking about over here. So let's go back a little bit and back towards the uh, overview of the routes. And um, this generally is how I am using the airports tab in FlightRadar24 to find flights I'm looking for if I want to fly to a particular airport. Now, let's go on then. The next tab we have available is airlines. So, you just bought that new add-on aircraft and you've downloaded that really cool livery for it. We've all been there, have we? So let's say, for example, we want to do a flight of Eurowings Discover. Then, in the airlines list, we can just search for the airline and select it from the list. We can just scroll down and find it here as well. In this case, we'll do it like this. Now, once again, we have several options available over here. So, you can, of course, use the routes tab once again. And that way around, just click on whichever airport you want to fly to. For example, if we wanted to fly down here to a windhook, then it would straight away give us all flights going there. So, in this case, we could go from Frankfurt or there is a small flight to uh, Vitoria Falls down here. So just pick whichever you like. And of course you can also just click on their home base, for example in this case Frankfurt, and then go on departures and you're getting a list of all destinations that you have available for this airline from this airport. Now, that is the easy way. But what you can also do Let's say you don't have a particular route that you want to fly, but you have that cool livery. Go on fleet, select the aircraft you want to fly, for example the A320, and then select the registration that you have available, for example Delta Alpha India Uniform Yankee. 
And now it's going to show you a list of all flights that the aircraft has recently done. So just go from here, pick whichever you like. The next one is the data and uh, history aircraft tab. So this works rather similar to what we have over here in that you can just select whichever type you want. For example, if we go down here to, let's say a Boeing 747 and we want a 747-8, select it and then you are going to see all the different registrations that FlightRadar has seen for this particular aircraft type in question. So pick one and then you can go from here. For example, we'll take the Bravo Lima Juliet India from Cathay Pacific and let's bring you to the aircraft page once again so that you can choose whichever flight you want to take. All right. This basically concludes this very small video over here, just showing you a few of the options that we have available on FlightRadar24 that not everybody is probably aware of. I personally am a very big fan of always using a real-life route and call sign, and that combined with the correct aircraft type. So I'm always using FlightRadar24 here in order to make our life a little bit easier and to find those realistic flights. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this one interesting. If you did and want to support the channel, there is a small donation button through the Buy Me A Coffee link available in the video description below. Thank you very much for watching and I'm looking forward to see you all on the next one.